Hi, uh, this is Pablo again, and uh, welcome to the um, fourth tutorial that we're gonna um, continue with the first three ones. And then in this fourth one, uh, we're gonna basically automatize a station, okay, which I think is going to be a pre made one. Converge station, that one, okay. So this station basically um, is gonna have two conveyor lines, okay, which probably they come from wherever, and it needs a node where it's gonna converge both because both products are the same. So imagine, for example, that you have two injection molds, okay, and those molds um, basically they make the same product, okay. And they they can be mixed. Okay, sometimes you can't, but in this case they are gonna be mixed. So this product, as I said, is both are the same, but they come from different molds. So there is a, a point that it is gonna have to have be uh, converged into one single um, conveyor. Okay. So in this case, well, this is an example that. Uh, factory IO already had pre-made okay as far as I remember I didn't have to change nothing okay and well pretty much is two conveyors rural conveyors um, with this specific device which is going to be uh, that one which is called chain transfer okay the chain transfer what it does is that it has oops, sorry here it has the option to go front back and then right and left okay so it has the option to move the in this case it's gonna be a box or a, or a container uh, front but also on the right okay this one is gonna be normal it's only gonna move front this conveyor line but this other one is gonna have to join into the first one to continue the process the only thing has uh, different diffuse sensors here and also this other sensor which is going to be this one capacity capacitive sensor okay and that sensor in this case only in this example is going to work pretty much similar to the diffuse sensor okay and and it's going to detect when an object is going to be close to its range okay the range of the capacitive sensor is much much uh, shorter than in the diffuse sensor okay but it's, as i said it's going to work pretty much the same it's normally open like the diffuse sensor and it's going to close whenever it detects some object okay and we're going to see that because i'm going to just make a small run demo demo sorry um in order so you can see a little bit how it works okay because i decided that especially now that it's gonna get a little bit more complex each time just a little bit more it worth to see how really you want it to work in order to start coding or designing the the the, the programming okay so i we have one of these capacitive sensors here and then this one okay this one is going to know when the container is going to be here and then this one is going to know when the container is going to be ready okay and then these ones they're going to basically see when one of these containers is crossing or is entering this area one is leaving and the same thing for this other uh, chain transfer okay and then to end we have typical enclosure okay simulates that you have all the PLC and cable in here or wiring here um, typical emergency um, switch we have the stop the start and then we have the reset for the uh, for the screen which is going to count is going to count how many of these containers you're going to uh, be putting in this transfer okay so that way we know how many conveyors we have in order to, for example, um, let's say that we heat seal them with a container, uh, uh, sorry, um, cover that is going to be made in other part of the factory. Okay. 
So pretty much this is the whole thing. Uh, we have the as an output these three conveyors. We have this one as an output too. Sorry, here it is output one, two. We have that one, which is the six, and then we have all these outputs. They're gonna move the chain transfer from front, back, left, and right. Okay, I didn't use all of them. In fact, the back one or the back movement I don't reuse. And for example, this one I only use looking from this direction, the right side. I don't use the left, okay, because I don't want these containers to go into the left. And this one I only use also the right, not the left, okay, and then the front. So as I said, you need all of them. And then as our inputs, but we have all the all the photo sensors here, 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 the diffuse ones, and then we have of course um, the. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, the uh, switches for uh, starting, stopping, and, and 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 all the actions. Okay, so we're gonna see how I can like demo how it works or how I made it work. Okay, and then as I said, uh, try yourself, see if you can make it work, tweak it if you have to, as much as you have to, and then compare it with. The solution that I will upload, um, I don't know, hopefully next week or at the end of this week. Okay, so here we're gonna see uh, the co these are the standard container. Okay, you can make a, any kind of design you want, and then the conveyor is ready or the system is ready, and then it's gonna work. So the idea is that sometimes they work, they both they're gonna come the same at the same time. So this one is gonna have priority for me. That is my decision, so it's going to come. Now when this one is empty, this other one is going to move. So it's going to come. And then it's going to be repeating this thing all the time. If, like now, they're coming in different times, as I said, this one has priority, but right now there is nothing, so this one is going to move. Now it has priority. And then it's going to continue all the same. When they both come at the same time, as we said, this one has priority, as you can see. And this one is waiting. And now it's coming, okay? And then it's gonna be like that for hours and hours if you want, okay? Here we are counting how many are crossing. And it's gonna be like that for minutes and minutes, okay? It's nice if you can imagine, for example, how this could be part of the process, okay? For example, to let's say there's a container, you're gonna put things inside. Uh, Right now, I just can think. For example, could be a, a specific type of battery, like a lead acid battery. For example, when you get the container, you're gonna put the cups inside, or uh, all the kind of box that, for example, you're gonna fill um, later on, and then you're gonna close or heat seal and close completely. Okay, and here, as you said. Let's say that, for example, uh, we have two injection moldings. They're going to come in here, okay? Instead of one, we want to have high production. So we decided two, and we check that both they are in a spec, and then we continue running them here so they can come into one line and they can continue the process, okay? So well, this is all for today. As the, the, present, the, the video that I present... I used to present this new tutorial and then as I said as soon as I can I will upload the solution which is already made as you can see that's why this one is running so it's already ready but I will have to make the video okay uh, the video um, explaining a little bit of how how many here you can see a little bit how many of the networks I do I will explain one by one if I if I do that correctly and see if I could help somebody that tried and couldn't solve this problem, okay?